All right, guys, as you can see, Luca is here, which means it is time for another cybersecurity versus software engineering video. And today's topic is going to be a juicy one, and that is cybersecurity versus software engineering on the topic of recession and layoffs. I know there's been a lot of articles and stuff in the news about both sectors. So overall, maybe we can just give our opinions about everything that's happening, maybe how we feel about job security and things like that. Yeah, so given the recent circumstances, like, it's definitely not looking too good for anybody, but yeah. especially tech. And uh, I've been seeing so many articles about like dot com part two, or th yeah. is this the end of big tech? Because a lot of times you might think big tech is the place that where you at least recession proof and have job security. But given the past few weeks and months, like it's proven otherwise. Like big tech can start laying people off. Like they still need to cut back on budgeting, and even hot startups are also laying people off. So it's definitely not looking good all around for people working in tech. And yeah, maybe it's .com part two, who knows? Yeah, I think I was really surprised to see that there are even cybersecurity companies, specifically very like hot cybersecurity startups that are also having layoffs right now. I think overall in terms of job security, I don't, I feel like the consensus that I've reached even back then with, you know, employment at will and things like that, I never think that job security is ever going to be 100%, even if you feel, yep very secure in your job which i mean i feel pretty secure in my job um obviously nowadays with recession and layoffs going on that security might be you know going down a little bit but it's not like i feel like i'm going to get fired tomorrow but of course that could be the case you know i i can't control these things and it's like a company decision i think that's probably the scariest part of being in a time like this especially in tech and i think this will probably impact people who are just graduating college and just getting out of boot camp right now because it's going to be a lot harder to get into the job market because you're competing with all these other experienced hires who may be more willing to you know take a lower paying job or take like a downgrade to a title because you know they want to get into the next job ASAP because of recession so i think that's what's going to make it really hard yeah following up i think right now it's also very hard for a lot of entry level especially because like mm -hmm. now on the market you have a surplus of big tech software engineers like yeah. you have other people who are also looking for the next opportunity either because they got laid off or they want they think like the company they're at is not as stable as they might think so now you the competition is more fierce some company who might always wanted to hire like a fan level engineer now have a chance to hire them even at a discount per se because like now they might be more open to exploring your company, your opportunities. So really applying pressure to entry-level software engineers. And entry-level cybersecurity professionals, which I think is already hard because, I think it's already hard enough because for cybersecurity professionals, a lot of times, even for entry-level roles, if you don't have like a previous internship, um, yeah. it can be very difficult to get that first, to get your foot in the door for that first job in cybersecurity. That's why I feel like the next mm -hmm few months the next year or two even um it's definitely going to be a little bit difficult but i still think that it's not impossible to find a job i definitely have seen people who have gone into new jobs recently so it's not impossible but i do think it would just be a lot harder yeah uh, on the other hand i actually think if you are someone who's more specialized rather than general software engineering track if you're working on the core product like it's safer so that's why I actually looking around, I feel like most company who, when they do lay off people, they're not going to let their cybersecurity team go first. Cause like, yeah, that's still like, very important, <laughs> especially if they're like the bigger companies, like they need people who are very specialized in these fields to still do the job. So I actually think if you're someone in cybersecurity at a bigger company, like your security level is definitely higher than typical software engineers who might just be working on like a product. So I actually think like, cybersecurity is better positioned, especially given like now the world is in a very uncertain situations. There's a lot of cyber attacks, like the country is like using cyber warfare, things of that extent. And I can only see it grow in the future. So I actually think there's going to be a rise needs for cybersecurity. So I actually have a pretty positive outlook for cybersecurity. Are you trying to get into cybersecurity? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, um, but yes, I completely agree with that. I mean, even like statistics where they show the differences between the growth in computer science and engineering jobs compared to cybersecurity, the growth of like 10x more for cybersecurity jobs than what I've seen. Obviously, we probably are still not getting paid to the extent where like FANG software engineers are, but there's definitely a lot of jobs out there for cybersecurity professionals. But it is, it does tend to be you know, leaning towards experienced cybersecurity professionals, which was the main point that I was kind of mentioning earlier. But I still think that 
with more companies that are actually looking to hire cybersecurity people, especially for fintech and healthcare, as well as government roles. Those are probably the main three that yeah. are pretty unwilling to let go of their cybersecurity talent. So if you're looking for a job out of college or out of a bootcamp and you're trying to find something with job security, those are probably the three areas to go into, especially fintech, because a lot of the big banks mm -hmm. out there are looking for good cybersecurity professionals because, because they're usually going to be the target even during times of economic downturn and especially for political reasons. And like every time there's like some kind of big political event, um, that's usually actually when big fintech companies get targeted the most. So yeah. definitely something to keep in mind. For software engineering, on the other hand, you really have to consider like what's like the core product and what's the core feature that's driving your company's revenue. Because when recession like layoff happens, just because you're doing a great job, you've been with the company for a long time, it doesn't necessarily mean your job is secure unless the product you're working on is the focus, is the top priority for your company. For mm -hmm. example, that will be some sort of AWS for Amazon profit generating exactly and some sort of ads revenue for google or meta so if you're in those pillars and you're doing a good job then your job security is way higher than other people on other products and that's definitely something we have learned from the recent recessions when the economy is uncertain it's not a very good idea to move around because based on the recent layoffs like we can clearly see like companies implement this last in first out type of structure Meaning yeah. if you recently joined the company, they're more inclined to let you go because like you haven't learned as much. You haven't got into like the company cultural just yet. Like you might not be as productive as someone who's been here for longer. So during times like this, I actually think if you don't have to move, then try not to move because like if you do move and you are the first to let go, that's worse possibly. So that's also something to keep in mind. Yeah, I agree. I had friends who were considering a job switch at the beginning of this year. And while they were on their job search, they realized that the economy was kind of like going downwards, <laughs> yeah. um, especially, you know, talks of recession and stuff like that. And then they decided to postpone their job search. That's definitely something common that you'll see. Like I've seen experiences where people have started at a job for maybe just like a few weeks and then they're the first to get laid off because they don't have that experience yeah. like Luca mentioned. So it is definitely unfortunate especially when you just get started and you basically just lose all of your other options if you had other yeah. offers on the table or your previous employer yeah it's definitely just an unfortunate situation if you are mm -hmm. stuck in that kind of place i'm actually thinking like hearing all the news like a lot of times all these layoffs happens in like the big tags like mm -hmm. also they all happen all at once yeah like because one triggers the other people like they probably all thought yeah. about it but they don't want to be the first person to announce it so they're mm -hmm. waiting for whomever to make the announcement first and then they just jump on the bandwagon. I, I'm actually curious, like I feel like in times like this, if you're in tech, cybersecurity or software engineer, do you think working at a government pillar is actually more job secure? Because I, I don't ever recall like government cutting a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, I personally think government has like the most job security. And actually, a lot of government roles still have some form of a pension. It's not as good as it used to be, but yeah. they still have pensions. Um, even for like the police force and stuff like that, if you're working for like the state government, the federal government, maybe not defense contractors, the companies yeah. that work for the government, yeah. but if you're working for specifically like city, state, federal, they typically have a lot more job security yeah. and benefits compared to like private sector. Mm -hmm. So I do think that if you're someone who's graduating out of college right now, yeah. there's a lot of government agencies who are hiring. Exactly. And like even like the CSA, um, the FBI, like all those like really fancy, you know, acronym <laughs> organizations that Perfect you hear about with growing cybersecurity. up. Yeah, they have a lot of cybersecurity roles. CISA is a really big one. Um, mm -hmm. And a lot of them hire at like different, what are those called? Like conferences, conferences career and fair. career yeah. fairs across the country in different schools. So I would really consider, you know, talking to them if you're someone who's looking for a role in cybersecurity or even in tech if you're someone who's exactly. you know, looking for a sweet role. I think it's definitely a great starting point considering the economy is so uncertain. Like also these are very competitive jobs as well that you can learn a lot from. And yeah. if your end goal is to get into these like private sector, like the bigger tech companies, right now it's definitely hard. Like all the company you have hiring freezes and stuff. So like, oh, yeah. you know, you gotta build your resume in a way that will stand out in the future if they do decide to resume hiring. Yeah, I think hiring freezes is another interesting topic to go into. Sure. Um, so like right now, a lot of companies are still hiring, but a yeah. lot of them seem to be, you know, forecasting that they're going to slow down in hiring early in 2023 or they're going to, or they're still going through a hiring freeze and aren't going to lift it up until early next year. Yeah. So what do you think about that? Like, do you think that's a good time frame? To me, it feels weird. Like for example, to expect these companies that recently laid people off 
to exactly. immediately resume hiring this soon. If they can't start hiring again after three months of laying people off, then what's the point of even having the layoff? So I actually think mm -hmm. the economy is going to be recovering a lot slower than most people anticipate. The company always wants to give positive signals, but mm -hmm. it may not be w the truth. So like I, I would take it for a grain of salt, like to be honest. I don't think like we're gonna resume like like consistent hiring maybe until mid or late next year, to be honest. After a year mark of layoff, then if the economy do show a sign of recovering, then the company might consider, you know, slowly hiring. But that doesn't mean like right now these companies are hiring. Definitely be on the lookout if you're someone with a lot of specialization. I would consider cybersecurity to be one that's like very specialized. Yeah, I think that's definitely something that I noted as well. With so many companies, they hired like thousands of people at the beginning of this year and then they just kind of, you know, <laughs> dump people and like lay everyone off and massively off at the end of the year. So yeah, if companies just start massively hiring again next year to ramp up and like fulfill need. I just feel like that's so... That's a very disrespectful move to all the people that they did lay off, yeah. regardless of whether or not they, you know, they may not have been in the roles that the company wanted to fill. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't feel the need to have that role be, you know, important or relevant enough to keep even during a recession, then maybe you shouldn't have hired them in the first place. And they could have gone somewhere else that, you know, would have kept them or had more opportunity. So yeah. it's just the layoffs all around are very negative and like difficult time for many people. So we just want to be as transparent as possible or just sharing what sure. our thoughts are all right so hopefully this gave you guys some insight into what we're thinking so far about all of the topics about recession and layoffs and by the way we do have a podcast that we post once a month and it is linked in the description below you can listen to it on spotify and basically it goes over like different hot topics like this for a very casual free-flowing conversation instead of you know having a topic and then talking just about it and then going mm -hmm. to the next one um let me know if you guys like these kinds of free-flowing conversational yep. videos and we can definitely do more of these just to you know yeah, exactly yeah it'd be like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about a specific leave topic. any topics like yeah. down below and uh, we will try to cover it and for vlogsmith slash posting on december you'll probably see this sometime in mid-december and we're also filming an episode for luca's channel so you guys can check him out he has a software engineering channel on youtube and he has great content on specifically how to get into cybersecurity. On, <laughs> my bad how to get into software engineering as well as tips and tricks as well as working at a big tech company yeah make sure to stay tuned guys all right so that's it for this video let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications i post videos every wednesdays and sundays at 12 p.m and luca posts videos every saturdays at 12 p.m and hopefully we'll see you guys in our next videos bye, bye.